next uh, we will design our uh, waveguide with numerical theme uh, so numerical theme is based on final element method but we will do the same procedure that we did, we did with numerical FDE so in the first step we will design our waveguide we will create our material structure our solver and then um, we will look at the mode profile like effective index loss and we will compare the result with the numerical FD and the next step uh, we will plot the uh, effective index versus wavelengths and uh, and the final step uh, we will import the result to the numerical interconnect and we create a circuit based on this waveguide and we will show the results for the waveguide theme you can follow this link um, and um, so in this link you can uh, learn how to design a, a waveguide so let's go to the numerical theme so in the numerical theme in the solver side I select numerical theme. So I'm waiting to open the low access. So, so this is a GUI of uh, numerical theme. As you see here, we have we can see the object tree here. So in the object tree, we can define our material, our geometry simulation region and our solver so for instance for our material uh, in this part we can see that like electrical and thermal material optical material or if you want to new material in this part we will design our model so this is a script prompt here also is a script file editor if we want to write a script file. And in this part, uh, you can find a different shape. So if you want to like create our structure, we will use this component. So also uh, the advantage of numerical theme regarding the little numerical FT is that, so the numerical theme is um, actually the packaged with numerical charge, heat, DGTD, multi-quantum bubble. I mean, uh, there is a good workflow in, in ANSYS website. So like, for instance, designing absorption modulator, photo detector, so that use the different solver in one uh, actually window, as you see here. So, and they, they are connected together. So let's start with uh, our waveguide design. So if we, if I go back to the numerical FD, so for the for the review, so we design a substrate, clad, and waveguide, and then we add FDE, and then we add um, um, like mesh refinement to to increase the accuracy. Accuracy. So let's do the same procedure for the numerical theme. So in the first step, we need to define our material. So in the material, just because uh, this is an optical material, so I, I go to the optical material, and then I select SiO2 and silicon. So I select the silicon. So you see that uh, this is uh, actually data of uh, silicon. The first column is the wavelengths real of refractive index and imaginary part of the refractive index. And uh, I select the red color for the silicon. So if I go to the go to the material explorer and uh, uh, if I select the feed and plot, you see that the, the refractive index of silicon is 3.47 and this is the imaginary part. So let's uh, um, select the silicon. 
silicon. Then I clicked create. So as you see here, the silicon is created the, the object tree. The second material is a SIO2. Then I will create, I will select the create. So this is a SIO2. And then I click OK. So now we have two material here, SIO2 and silicon. In the next step, we need to design our geometry. For the geometry, we can use this structure. Like, because our geometry is uh, uh, actually a waveguide, so we'll first we create a rectangular, and then I double click on the rectangular and, and uh, write substrate substrate okay so for the substrate i right click on the substrate and click edit object in the edit object for the x span i select 10 micrometer for the y i select minus 5 to 0 and for the z 1 micrometer because our structure is is 2d so the Z is doesn't important. So then I select material. In the material side, I select SIO2. So that's it. I click apply and OK. Then I click this zoom extend and you see this window. So for the next waveguide, we can use the duplicate property so I select duplicate then I double click and put it cloud and for the cloud just I need to change the geometry in the y section from 0 to 5 5 micrometer so again I use a duplicate and then this is a waveguide waveguide for the waveguide, our waveguide is uh, our waveguide is uh, a single mode waveguide. Yeah, five hundred nanometer and two hundred and twenty nanometer. So for the waveguide for the X span, I select the five hundred nanometer, and for the Y span, I select. Uh, 0 to 0.22 so then click apply okay so uh, in the prospective view if we select this orbit and then uh, I can I can rotate I can rotate the structure so uh, and also in the in the on the left side, you can see that there is a x, y, x, z, y, z, and this is a three-dimensional. So I select x, y. Okay, now we define a material, we defined geometry. In the next step, we need to define our simulation region. So in the simulation region, I select edit object. So then I select 2D Z normal because this is x, y, and I want to uh, simulate in a z normal. So I select the, the, this boundary as a closed to do the simulation just for this region. And in I, I material, so I select known and the geometry. If you remember in the FD, I select three micrometer to three micrometer for the, for the simulation region so now so now the the structure of the same as fde okay substrate cloud wave guide and fde so in the next step we will we'll, so i select the theme and right click and select edit object so then i select uh, simulation region as simulation region the mesh so I will select, uh, I will keep the pair edge per wavelengths as two. And uh, 
refine based on material property and the polynomial order like for three. If you increase this factor, this order, so it means that you can increase the, the accuracy of your simulation, but the trade-off is, is, a, is a time. So for the modal analysis, I, I need to select the wavelengths, 1.55. So 10 mod numbers, number of trial mode, I select 10. And um, for the multi-trading, so I select, let's solver choose. And yeah, that's it, apply, okay. So for this now, uh, we need to uh, have a boundary condition uh, for our solver. So here you see a different boundary condition. I see, I select the PC as a default. So PC is the default boundary condition. For to to know more about the to know more about the the different boundary condition. Also, uh, you just you can search and you can go to the ANSYS website or for to know more about like PML, PMC, and PC. So I select the PC and edit object. So for the this one, I select solid and the solid, I select waveguide. So I want to P, have a PC and the R, my waveguide. So then I select apply and okay. So then in the, in if we go back to the numerical FD, in the numerical FD also we have, we can see a mesh. So the same story, mesh refinement to, to increase the accuracy. So the, the same story that exists in the numerical theme. So uh, here you can select the constraint and the constraint, if I select it and edit object and for the, for the mesh, for the max edge length, that's, 10 nanometers, I select 10 nanometer for the mesh, mesh and geometry, surface, uh, simulation region for the X min, X max, Y min and Y max. So then I click apply and okay. So now we defined, so as you see here, we define our material, geometry, simulation region and, and solver. So now here you can see a bottom that is partition. If I select the partition and if I go to the, uh, like, uh, domain side, uh, ah, just, I see as I O2. So let's check my material. Uh, let's check geometry, waveguide, uh, edit object so our material in the in the waveguide must be silicon so then i select apply how i found that uh, my waveguide is not silicon so because uh, when i check the the partition I, I see that just there is one domain now if you look at if you compare with the first part so now you can see that we have two domain SiO2 and Si. So for the Si, so this is just for the Si, look. This is the boundary of our Si. But for the boundary of domain one, which is SiO2, so you have this boundary and also the inner boundary. So you can see the black color. So this is a first and this is the inner boundary, you see. So now you know the meaning of the partitions and the domain in the, the numerical theme. So in the next step, uh, we will uh, look at the mesh. So if I look at the mesh, if I click the mesh, and so now save the results. Uh, so let's... I create a folder, a numerical theme, theme, waveguide, waveguide. 
So I save the wave guide thing. Okay, then I click save. So now if I click mesh, uh, so you see that in the result view, there is a grid. So if I select the grid and right click on the grid, select visualize and then select new visualize. So you, in this window, you see a, a index area and ID. So I remove the ID, I remove the area, just I, I will check the index. So in the index side, you see that this is a Y direction, this is the X direction. So this is a refractive index of silicon is 3.48. And this is a refractive index of silica is 1.44. So now in the next step, we want to see the mesh. So if I select the show heat setting, so, and then select the mesh only. So in the mesh, you can see that uh, this is a waveguide and this is a mesh setting of the, of the structure. So now everything is fine and uh, we can run the uh, simulation.